dedicated and very smart. A team of three, each plays a part. They may not look like all the rest, but when trouble comes, they stand the test. Professor Mogul's one evil guy, with police chief Pamela by his side. These villains may try to do the good guys here, but when trouble this, dear? No, not there. How about here? Good grief, no. And here? Mm, possibly. Right. How does it look here, my turtle dove? Well, it's the best place for it. Who's the artist? Do we know? It could be a missing Van Gogh. What could have possessed our chief of police? She's never sent me a present before. Pamela Von Danny is sending you a message that when it comes to your order, she's all ears. That'd be a change. We'll wait and see. Not turnips for lunch again. Georgie, the <laughs> you know I can't. <laughs> that bunked picture's great. I can listen in without having to wear out shoe leather. Oh, no, cheap. Go no, cheap. Come in. Put that down. No, no. Chief, uh, your sister's getting her hair done and... And what? Uh, she was hoping you'd uh, babysit this. What gives, Lieutenant Rhino? Have you forgotten how to <laughs> say that? <laughs> yes, sir. I mean, no, ma'am. Nice catch, Andy Pamela. Get out before I throw you out. I'm getting out right away, Chief. You told him, Andy Pamela. Let that be a lesson. If you don't work hard at school, kid, you'll grow up to be just like Lieutenant Rhino. Now you play quietly while Auntie Pamela tunes into the mayor. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Mayor's a silly Billy. <laughs> have a nice trip. See you next fall. Note to self, do not have children. Hello, this is His Worship the Mayor of Los Diablos. This is to inform you that you've been awarded the Malabar Medal. The Malabar Medal! The Malabar Medal? Yes, Mayor Walrus, the Malabar Medal, awarded to the most distinguished mayors. This is quite an honor. I'm flattered. We will present the medal at City Hall in two days. Will you be ready? Willing and able. Quite so. <laughs> My precious, come hither! No, no, it's just not fair! Wait a sec. I'll ask Professor Molo to invent some scheme to stop old Wonder Tusk from getting his medal. <laughs> Should have taken an extended warranty. Engineer, when I'm mayor of this burg, Molo. If the mayor gets that medal, we'll never be able to kick him out of office. You've got to come up with a way to spoil the medal ceremony. Let me think, let me think. Hmm. How about a monster? No, your monsters are all duds. True. 
Maybe a scalp massage will help you to think. Hmm. Hmm. That smell, what is it? What smell? Let go of my hand! It's a mixture of talcum powder, mild soap, and flannelette. The baby! You've been handling a baby! Right, my little nephew. Now, what are we gonna do about the mare? That's a terrific idea! A baby! What? Explain, please. Picture this. Mayor Walrus transformed into a squalling little brat. Would you give him a medal? Perfect! Nobody would ever elect a baby as mayor! <laughs> right! We'll announce that he sucks his thumb and sleeps with a teddy bear! He can kiss that medal goodbye! Wait a minute. I still sleep with a teddy bear. <laughs> but you're brilliant! This little scheme will make even my behavior seem mature! <laughs> Congratulations, Mr. Mayor. Quite an honor for the city. It is I who am being honored, not the city. Right you are, sir. When will the medal be presented? The day after tomorrow, and I'm putting you in charge of security. Nothing must mar this tribute. Hmm? Yeah, parcel for Mayor Walrus. Hide. You mustn't be seen with me. <laughs> She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. For you, Mr. Mayor. <laughs> uh, thank you. I wonder what it could be. Well, well, a children's book. Ah, too precious for words. Well, this takes me back. Look, a tab. <laughs> oh. oh, Bunnykins, would you like a cup of tea? <laughs> now that's weird. The weirdest. You're darn tootin'. Why are you staring at me? The dearest, you're a teensy weensy bit different. Different? How? Look in the mirror. Surely that can't be me. Oh, no, I'm a baby. <laughs> oh, if the little baby American's unhappy, there, 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 before it's all right. Hush now. So? How'd it go? Perfectly. By now, the mayor will have found his lost youth. <laughs> Brilliant. I shall inform the news media. <laughs> Are we hot? We're hot. <laughs> this pop-up book must have something to do with the mayor's newfound youth. We cannot let the media get wind of this. Hurry, hurry. Well, so much for the media not getting wind of this. So you think this book caused the mayor's transformation? No doubt about it. In that case, whoever developed this amazing specimen is a genius. I'd say this was Molo. We'll look into it, Snap. But can you tell us what did the trick? It would be my pleasure and privilege to assist. But this is a right brain teaser. Freight will need some time to figure it all out. Hey, guys, look at this. City Hall! Turn it up, Wilfred! We're coming to you live from City Hall with a special bulletin. The mayor, or Baby Alexander, as he's now called, has gone to sleep after his bottle. I have with me our chief of police, Ms. Pamela Bundani. Comments. He's like a six-month-old baby. Mm -hmm. He's in no condition to preside as mayor now or ever. Did you speak to him? Well, his baby talk is hard to understand, but he made up some laws. I wrote them out, and he signed with an X. Is that his signature? Not bad for a baby. Not funny, Snap. This is serious. With an X. He can't write his name. Are we going to leave our city in the hands of an illiterate... Turn it off! We've got to do something before she takes over the city. Right, but what? We don't even know what caused his regression to babyhood. Snap, you've got to find an antidote. I'll give it the old college try, but... But, but what? what? But it won't be till tomorrow. <laughs> this really isn't age-appropriate exercise. Put a sock in it. It's the mayor's new law. All merchants must use a baby walker. I'd be glad we didn't give you a fine. <laughs> now you can get some new antiques to sell. <laughs> Everybody freeze! Random rattle check. <laughs> Get him out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
So where's your regulation rattle? What, 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 what it's one of the mayor's new laws. Every citizen must carry a rattle at all times. Come on, down to the station. Yeah, but... Go with the mayor. Go with More than just a big baby. Signature, Mr. Mayor. Mm -hmm. Here you are. Thank you, Mayor Walrus. Nice jammies. <laughs> For a baby, I'm not doing too badly as mayor. Oh, sweetie comes! Who wants his nice <laughs> bottle now? Baby Mayor Walrus! <laughs> 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 What's wrong? Don't they like me anymore? It's because of the new laws you signed into effect. They are a bit strange, Bunny Killers. But I didn't sign any laws! <laughs> <laughs> Right, Shorty. I analyzed the powder on the pool tan. And, and what, what was it? it? A very powerful rejuvenator. Huh? What? Let me demonstrate. <laughs> what are you doing here, Chief? I was keeping an eye on the situation in the interest of public security. I am Chief of Police. Chief Troublemaker's more like it. Let's go see the man. I'll be in the garage working on an antidote. Mine's as mature as it ever was. Now, now, Bunnykins, what about your signature? You can only make an X. I can still sign my name. How's that? <gasps> you won't stay this way. Snap is working hard to find an antidote. Well, be quick about it. The ceremony's tomorrow, and they won't give the Malabar medal to a baby. I'm going to sleep. If I don't get my 18 hours of Shania, I'll get cranky. <laughs> oh, shh. Let's go. Shall I hold your calls, Chief? I'm the one that asks the questions around here! <laughs> now, take that as a yes. <laughs> I've had it up to here with Patrol 03! <laughs> Professor Molo, Monsters of Speciality. Molo, I need to see you. We'll meet at the rendezvous in one hour. No. Uh -oh. Molo! No, it's another talking fire hydrant. Don't get smart. You've got to get rid of Patrol 03. Make them younger so we can send them to reform school. I can't. What do you mean you can't? Well, I'm out of talcum powder. It's the main ingredient in the rejuvenating formula. I need a lot. Well, buy some! Do I have to do everything? Sure. Here! No. And bring back the change! Bad news, mates. I still haven't found the antidote. Now that old Pamela knows we're on to her, she'll be after us for sure. You're right, Shorty. What'll she try? Elementary, my dear Carmen. She'll turn us into babies, too. In that case, they'll need a supply of talcum powder. It's the main ingredient of Molo's rejuvenating formula. Hmm. We have to lure Molo into a trap. Why don't I start selling talcum powder? Great, Great idea! idea. <laughs> <laughs> talcum powder for sale, the finest quality, sweet-smelling and absorbent. It'll never work. Molo's not that dumb. That's enough, Wilfred. Shh! I hear someone coming. 
A can of talcum powder? No, I'll take 20. 20? You must have quite a baby. Is it a boy or a girl? Yeah, actually, it's a little shy. Yeah. Hey, that's our man! It's Molo! <laughs> Come on, Carmen, we'll take the car! Get a lollipop. Concentrated acorn dust, alfalfa sprouts, a seed from a seedless orange, and three millimeters of baby's breath. Good boy. <laughs> <laughs> like giving candy to a baby. Now that we have the antidote, baby Molo can have a nice long nap in jail. <laughs> There, baby Molo, here's your bottle. That's all. We need some antidote for Mr. Mayor. <laughs> <laughs> this time he's not going to escape. Him. He's having his nap. At last! <gasps> Did you bring it? Here's the antidote. Drink up, Mr. Mayor. <laughs> right. Let's get down to business. Professor Mola won't be any more trouble. He's safely back in his jail cell. <laughs> Perfect. Now to deal with Pamela. Come with me. What a shame. I was starting to get attached to Baby Walrus. Molo! Professor Molo! Where are you? You were right, Carmen. Pamela can't manage without her genius. I think I'll drop in. What? Well, hi, Mr. Mayor. Large as life. It 
It's wonderful to have you back to your old self. Never felt better, especially since Patrol 03 has exposed our most dangerous criminal. That'd be you. <laughs> Manners. I hope you haven't made plans for the next 20 years because you're heading for a long rest cure in the clink. Unless you'd rather be directing traffic. Uh, I think I'll go for traffic. <laughs> By virtue of the powers vested in me, I hereby present to Alexander Walrus the Malabar Medal. Dear friends, I fully deserve this fine medal. Thanks to me, Los Diablos is a model city. Take traffic, for example. We have just appointed a traffic warden. And with the promotion of Sergeant Shorty to Chief of Police, we can all sleep soundly knowing that peace, order, and good government reign supreme. Here we are. I found the antidote. Congratulations, Snap. Guess I'm a little late. <laughs> <laughs>